All right, here I am today. I am currently climbing up Kearsarge Pass. I'm uh, a little over a mile into the hike, I think. I think there's University Peak somewhere up there. Um, the goal today is uh, Mount Gould. It's going to be uh, pretty ambitious for me. We'll see how I feel just getting to the top of the pass. But Mount Gould is directly above the pass and will be uh, about 1,200 feet of rock scrambling uphill. So that's going to be pretty rough for me. But, yeah, well, we need a good challenge. I've been doing a lot of cupcake hikes. Let's get a, a real good one today. All right, lake number one. University Peak still has plenty of snow on it. Quick rest, and now push on. All right, made it to the second lake. Um, not sure what my uh, distance is. There's University Peak up there. All right, I've gone about 2.17 miles, pretty good. Has uh, really picked up. That's nice. And uh, almost halfway to Kearsarge Pass. If I keep up this pace, I can maybe I can do three hours. We'll see. Somewhere along the way, I missed Lake Number Three, but here's Lake Number Four, Heart Lake. I remember this name just because. It's hard to tell with this tree in the way, but it's shaped like a heart. Alright. My first glimpse of Kearsarge Pass. Right there. And that bad boy up there, Mount Gould. A little bit of snow on it. Pass. And that's Mount Gould. Oh. Man. Whew. Just about the top. Here's Sarge Pass. The sign is right there. This is the clearest I've ever seen. Big pothole lake. Lake number five. I'll check my time here in a minute once I actually reach the top. I'm going to take a long rest before the real hike begins. Somewhere with this mess. The wind is picking up a little bit. That's nice. Feels good. My legs are getting tired. I got a good rhythm though. I made it pretty much this whole route here without stopping. So Tired, but I got Pretty good rhythm. So here's the top, and uh, enjoy the view, eat, relax. already feels like a really bad idea. Oh man. There's nothing but loose rocks for 
1200 feet. Someone else is going up here too. Maybe halfway up. This is, uh, I don't know where my camera space is, but this is uh, pretty brutal. Amazing view. Just past all the people on their way down. Someone else a short way behind me, also climbing. We've been kind of taking turns passing each other as we take breaks, trying to figure out the best route to get up this beast. Tired, but not as tired as I thought I'd be. Probably because I'm moving so slow. created by but and they're right it doesn't get easier Feel like this the rest of the way, I think I can make it. The altitude tries, tries to smack me down. It's gonna be a whole other story. Oh, here's a nice little plateau. space in these mountains but they are amazing. Oh, man. So I am 
guest. shady spot. I'm at uh, 12,850 or so. And altimeter app might be slightly off, but so I've climbed a thousand feet above Kearsarge Pass. or if it's even further, probably further. It doesn't look like it's 150 feet up. So, uh, I'm getting there though, we're getting there.
snow sucks. Oops, loose rock, loose rock. Oh, hello. Heading for the true summit? Yeah. There it is. Oh. Why is it way over there? Yeah, exactly. I've seen people climbing around kind of the left side of it. Uh, or straight up in front. Oh, no problem. through Mount Boo in front of me. The true awful peak. 13,000 Some more up here. All right, Mount Gold, you're mine. I'm coming for you.
back behind me was the false summit and that is uh, not the way I'm going on my way back that was horrible Hungry, thirsty, tired. How do I get up here? How do I get up here? Probably steeper, but if I fall, I'm not going to go tumbling to the side. I hope.
this is the sun. There's the log. I mean, technically, there's a rock above me. Count this. This is the summit of Mount Gold. There's a false summit, and then there's a really difficult summit. Thirteen thousand five feet. I'll say <laughs> subtract five because I'm not on this rock right here, but I can't climb that. Oof. What a climb! That was. I felt like some class three right there. That was a little scary. says I'm slightly lower but it's not completely accurate. Five hours. In about nine minutes. Including like a 25 minute rest stop at Kearsarge Pass. So it took me over two hours to go less than a mile. Maybe like two thirds of a mile, but oh man, getting down is going to be an adventure. Just getting down from this rock because it is just down. Oh, all right, I'm gonna take a nice restful break. Here's the log. If oh, maybe I'll sign that and then. Uh, I'll head back down. That was really scary. There's very little to hold on to. And it's so steep, you're just sliding down, ah, but I made it down. Everything else, there's plenty of rocks, but this is just stone. I went up kind of there and across that. That was really scary. And I mean, one slip and I'm going down, down, down. I had to throw my hiking poles down on my way down because I couldn't hold on and hold, and hold on to the pole at the same time. <sighs> anyway, I made it to the register. I'm counting that. The register of the real summit, which is really probably a couple feet deep, different things. I'm counting that. Even though there's a rock slightly higher than that, it's only a couple feet. I'm counting it. I climbed Mount Gould. I'm awesome. No asterisk. This was a heck of a climb. This was definitely like it turned from a hike and right here at the end or it was a rock hike to a rock scramble and then here at the end uh, it felt more like mountain climbing. Only I don't have any safety equipment. 
Oh, that took me a little over two hours to get up. Hopefully a little faster going down, but with how loose the rocks are, probably not too much faster. But uh, once I get down to Kirpsen's Arch Pass, maybe I'll take another break. And then, oops. And I'll just uh, up back to my car. Or just be a couple hours from the pass. So uh, in the raw soil hard part is well this. Now that I'm on sturdy ground again, or relatively sturdy, take another video. Looking west into Kings Canyon, south, and then east to the Owens Valley. site but it's there somewhere. Alright, let's go. There's a nice site. I think that's uh golden trout lake. Maybe and then down this mess of rocks is Kearsar's mess. is straight ahead. I think I'm probably at like 12,100 now, so I'm getting close. Probably about three quarters of the way down. I'm going to take another rest at the pass, eat something because I'm getting real hungry. I'm starting to get a headache. I don't know if it's the altitude or what. The lower the better. Let's get out of here. Made it back down to the pass. Four and a half miles to my car. Here, this little bend here was the start of the really horrible snow to get to the top of the pass. And this year, this is all the snow in this spot. <laughs> I mean, this entire field was just all snow. This whole corner it was really bad. So much easier this year without snow. And also easier that my feet don't hurt too much. And this concludes Mount Gould. Okay, I am tired. Looks 
like uh, the hike ended up being about nine hours and 10 miles. I thought it was going to be about 11 miles, but 10 miles works as well. Whew. Doing nothing tomorrow. 